In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the size of your slides in PowerPoint. I'm using a Mac, but it's probably important to cover this for Windows as well. First off, to change the PowerPoint slide's size, you need to find the page setup. You can find that in the file dropdown, down to page setup, or if you go to the design tab, look for this slide size icon. It might also be on your home tab, but generally it's also on the design tab. If you click that, you've got two options here, and you might even have page orientation like portrait or landscape, but mainly we need to make it to page setup. Here is where we have a lot of different presets, or we can choose custom and edit the actual height and width of our slide. So for instance, if you wanted this to be like an eight and a half by 11 size, if you're designing something to be printed out on a sheet of paper, you can change the width and the height to exactly that. And then there's some orientation settings down here. And this is also where you can adjust the header and the footer layout. Now, if you wanted this to be in pixels, like I wanted it to be 1080 by 1080 pixels because I'm designing a social media square social media post, I can actually input 1080 pixels, hit tab, and also put 1080 pixels here. Now, I'm not sure the base resolution, I could probably figure it out by doing the math, but it doesn't matter. What matters is you can do that with those different values and the unit increments here in the page setup and then hit OK. It automatically makes it inches or whatever the unit of measurement is in your PowerPoint. It's going to tell us here we're converting to a larger slide size. Are you sure? Uh, or do you want to scale your content up? You can scale it or you don't have to scale it. I'm going to click scale and show you what happens to all these boxes. It scales up a little bit on each of the boxes. We actually went to a different orientation completely or format completely because now we're a square post and not just a 90 by 1080. Now when it's scaling up images and things like that, it may or may not work out for you. You could check it and then undo with command or control Z and then redo that without scaling or with scaling if you would rather one or the other happen. But that's how to change your page or slide size here in PowerPoint.